The Olympics, one Olympian and Greenville native got a very special send-off tonight, jumping in front of her friends and family at one last practice at home. Our Kylie Jones talked to her before she heads to Tokyo. Talk about a hometown send-off. Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, how lucky are we to live in a neighborhood that does all this for her. And um, that whole neighborhood supports her and we love her. And this is incredible. It's so nice to have a community that can be behind me like this and that I can share my Olympic journey with because most people only get to see it on TV. Tonight, dozens got a front row seat. <laughs> Olympic pole vaulter and Greenville native Sandy Morris jumped at home for the last time before hitting the road for the 2021 Olympics. No stranger to the games, winning the silver in Rio, but this time her training took a creative turn. When the pandemic threw a wrench in her training, Morris's family custom built a whole pole vaulting pit right in their own neighborhood, helping make this whole Olympic birth possible. Oh, it's unbelievable. You can't, you just can't believe that you're living and seeing this girl actually, you know, she's famous to us. <laughs> But to some, she's just Aunt Sandy. She is my aunt and she has made me want to become a pole vaulter. Jumping right in her Piedmont neighborhood gave the Olympian one last boost on the road to Tokyo. And so that's what I want to show is these younger kids, high school, middle school age kids, that you can do it too, you can be an Olympian, you can do whatever you want if you set your heart to it and you just go after it. Team Sandy will be glued to the TV with one goal in mind. For her to win gold in Tokyo. I'm hoping that she'll come home with a goal. In Greenville County, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.